Hello students, uh, thank you for choosing the simulation as part of MSBA 300. And uh, I will uh, spend a few minutes to walk you through the presentation and give you a couple of, um, couple of tips how to do best in the simulation over the next uh, several weeks. So uh, let's start. Uh, you will find this presentation and some background material in the course section. And uh, I recommend that you uh, read the background information uh, about this case. Uh, and you also can do some research about marketing and marketing strategies. Uh, what you should look at is uh, what are different marketing strategies. And you will find that there are different strategies that you can choose. Uh, one is called the low cost leader, uh, where you um, try to get the lowest price, uh, highest volume, lowest price, economy of scale. Uh, and uh, you try to be profitable by doing that and gain market share. But there are other strategies than this, because this strategy, the low cost leader strategy has the disadvantage that it's not necessarily the one that yields the highest profit. The other strategy is one uh, where you differentiate uh, the product and there are ways how you can do this in the simulation by product differentiation uh, with product features. You can also uh, choose uh, different geographic locations. You can choose different channel strategies. So there's different ways how you can uh, strategize and I, I would like you to uh, do some research on that. Uh, your objective uh, is to um, achieve the highest profit. Um, you can achieve the highest profit um, in different ways. As I said, based on a marketing strategy, you can do that by high market share, high volume at a low price, or you can do a lower volume at a higher price um, if that is more profitable and if you get enough uh, customers. For each year, you will make a decision uh, and we will go over what decisions you're going to make. And then I want you to post a, a decision guide, a decision rationale. We'll go over that as well for each year. You will find a Dropbox for each year of the simulation. The simulation is four years. Uh, and you post your decision rationale for each year in the respective Dropbox. In year one, um, your decision rationale should include a lot of uh, analysis of the market and the historical data. There's some historical data of the previous years. Obviously, it's your first year. So you have not made any decisions. You cannot look back on how your decisions fared. Uh, so look back and see what decisions uh, your competitors made in the last several years, what, Blue, what decisions Blue made, and how that impacted their market share. The dashboard is useful in, in uh, years two, three, and four uh, to see how you are doing. Uh, each one of you will have their own market, so you're not playing against each other. You play for yourself, but your decisions impact the market. And in the dashboard, you can see how you are doing, how your decisions impacted your market share, profitability, revenue, and the demand. And you will also see how your competitors are doing. Uh, and you will see what decisions they made and you can learn from that. You can learn from your own decisions and you can learn from the decisions that your competitors make. And by the way, your decisions impact the decisions of the competitor. So if you go for um, a low cost strategy, don't be surprised if your competitors also lower their prices, etc. So, and that depends on each one of you what you're doing in your decision guide. Income statement is important because, uh, as I said before, you will be uh, uh, the simulation will be graded on uh, cumulative profit and market share. Your grade for the class is 
based on the quality of your decisions, not on the quality of your outcome, but what you're looking at and what you want to achieve. And I will uh, publish uh, for each year a scoreboard is uh, cumulative profit. And um, I will also share cumulative market share and cumulative um, revenue. And you will see that those three parameters are not necessarily linear. So if, if you have the highest revenue, that doesn't mean you have the highest profit. And if you have the highest uh, market share, it doesn't mean you have the highest revenue and the highest profit. Uh, uh, consult the income statements in year two, three, and four and see how much money you can spend for marketing. Um, the more revenue you make, obviously, uh, and the more profit you make, the more you can invest. Just like in the real life. Production versus demand. Uh, you will see in uh, decisions um, that there's a tool for that. And I highly recommend that you use it because the common made, most made mistake is that uh, people underproduce. They underestimate the demand. They underproduce. And then in the year, uh, the consequence is that you sell less than you could have sold. And your competitors sell more so be really sure that you do a good job in the demand prediction and the production planning the pricing chart as i said your decisions will impact also your competitors decisions so uh, be sure to study that and again everything you study document it and see how that impacts your decision. Social media that's self-explanatory, I don't have to say anything about that. The Data Explorer is very useful. Um, and when you use the Data Explorer to make decisions, take some screenshots and put that in your decision rationale uh, that you put together. You put a document together for each year and in each document for each year, you uh, explain why you're making the decisions that you're making. And so the Data Explorer uh, is, a, is an important tool. You can um, use screenshots of that. Same thing is true with uh, geographical demand. So now we come to how you make decisions. Uh, you make decisions uh, on the number of units to produce. As I told you, that's important. The channel price also very important because the price is an important factor in your marketing strategy. The formulation, that's product differentiation, uh, product features and positioning, uh, trade channel spend, uh, you know, where, where do your customers get your product, uh, media spend, and market segment for your decisions, target market segments for your decisions, and you will see what the target markets are. So these are decisions that you make in the system and um, before you make the decisions, think about it, do your strategy. This is not a try and error uh, approach here. I really want you to think about it. And since this is a class about um, data, data analytics, I want you to analyze the data and let the data analysis guide your decisions. So finally, um, you will get a table with decision history. And in year four, when you submit your uh, decisions for year four, uh, you can submit your decisions and you will see immediately the results. Then I want you to reflect on years one, two, three, and four and see how your decisions went and uh, what you would do differently, what you learned from the decisions, etc. So you can do a little uh, back. So as I said, you will not be graded on the result. What you will be graded on is how did you interpret the dashboard? What data elements did you use to make your decisions? Did you create any side tables and notes to make your decisions? If so, include them. Include them in your decision rationale. How did results form from the previous years inform your and guide your decisions? Uh, so that's what I'm interested in, and that's what I'm grading the paper on. And then uh, don't forget, submit the decision guide for each decision round uh, for each year 
in the Dropbox that I will post. And then afterwards, we will do a debrief and you will get your grade. And hopefully you learn uh, something practical about how we use data to make business decisions. Thank you. And I hope you have fun with this simulation. I find it really uh, that a lot of uh, students, uh, you know, after a semester of learning all the details about data analytics, really enjoy that now you can actually utilize dashboards and analytics uh, to make business decisions. So it's a, it's a great way to um, put this into practice. So have fun and I'm looking forward to see your decisions.